The next topic is what are model auxiliaries? It's the last topic in uh, the module models and model auxiliaries in English grammar. So what are model auxiliaries? Auxiliaries, models and main verbs. Be, have and do can be auxiliaries and main verbs. They have grammatical functions and are used for forming tenses, questions, the passive, etc. Models are can, could, may, might, must, ought to, shall, should, will, would and need. Need can also be a main verb. Examples. We can play football. We could play football. We may play football. We might play football. We must play football. We must not play football. We needn't play football. We ought to play football. We shall play football. We should play football. We will play football. We would play football. What to keep in mind when using models? Explanation. Same sentences. Do not use models for things which happen definitely. The sun rises in the east, a model can be used in the sentence. They have no S in the third person singular, he can play football. Questions are formed without do, does, did, can he speak Spanish? It follows a main verb in its infinitive, they must read the book. There are no past forms except could and would, he was allowed to watch the film. When you use the past participle, you tell about things which did not happen in the past. You should have told me. Long and contracted forms of models. Affirmative, negative. Long forms, contracted forms. Can, can't, could, couldn't, may, may not. Might, might not. Ought to, oughtn't to. Need, need not. Shall, shall not. Should, should not. Will, will not, would, would not. Thanks for watching. It was English Grammar with Luna Muru. And we discuss the questions. So what are modal auxiliaries?